authors, I am so excited to see you because we recently had episode 11 of RTTV and we talked about how to protect your manuscript before it ever leaves your computer. And there are five main ways that you can do this that really help as you are creating your manuscript to protect it. And I wanted to give you a highlights reel of the episode. So here we go. Step one is to make sure that your files are saved in multiple locations. Just in case your external hard drive breaks or your jump drive breaks or there's a fire in your home, you have multiple backup copies in case something happens that you can go back to and not lose all of the work that you have put into your manuscript. Step two is going to be to organize your files. Have a folder and subfolders within that and then subfolders within that so that you always know where to find your manuscript or the different parts of your author marketing so that you do not lose it and you can get it to people quickly if you need to. Step three is going to be to name your files properly so that not only can you find them, but the people that you send them to know who it belongs to and know how to find it on their computer. So you wanna make sure you have your first and last name and your manuscript attached to every single thing that you send out so that there is no confusion and there's no way that they can lose it within their computer system. Number four is going to be to properly use headers and footers within your manuscript. You should always have your first name and last name and your manuscript title within your headers or your footers on your page so that no one can get confused about who has written this. And if you have sent this to someone who you do not know, who does not know you, and they are reading it and they want to remember who has created this without flipping back or without having to go through their emails and look at their files, they want to be able to look up at the top or the bottom of your page and know that it belongs to you and how to contact you. And the fifth step is to make sure that you have a proper title page with every single bit of contact information that you could possibly put on there. That includes your name, your email, your website, your phone number, and every way that someone could get in touch with you if they have your manuscript in their hands and they need to reach you. You want it all in one easy location so that they can find it easily and without having to search. Now, bonus for you, make sure that your email signature has all of this information too, so that when people go into your email or they're reading something from you, they know exactly how to find you. Whether it's through your website, your email, your phone number, or your social media, they can easily click and reach out to you, or they have it directly in front of them and they don't have to search for it. By using these five steps and that bonus, you will ensure the safety of your manuscript when you send it to people or when you leave it on your computer so that nothing bad happens. And let's face it, bad things do happen and you wanna make sure that your manuscript is protected. Now to see more about this, jump onto our full episode of RTTV. It's episode 11, the link will be in the show notes below and you can watch everything that we talked about to get more insight into how to protect your manuscript before it ever leaves your computer. I'm Cam Robinson of Cam Robinson Photography and Reading Transforms. Stay inspired.